AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT are two types of the same software. In a nutshell, AutoCAD LT is the lighter version that has no 3D features, but there are more differences when it comes to features and also the price. So in this video, I'll share a detailed comparison of AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT, and I'll also suggest which one should you buy for your specific needs. So essentially in this video, I will tell you not just what to buy, but also when to buy. The Autodesk Cyber Week sale is the last big sale of year 2022. Watch out for the details at the end of this video. All right, so let's start with the first and the most basic difference, which is the 3D features. In AutoCAD, you get 3D features. In AutoCAD LT, you, well, don't. Now, with 3D features, we can not only make 3D drawings, but we can also add layouts, different views, and we can quickly make edits. Let me show you an example. So I've got this drawing here, and in the layout view of this drawing, I have the isometric, top, front, and also a section view. Now, if let's say we want to make some changes, if let's say we want to add some holes here at the top, which is currently not visible in these layouts, then for doing so, you just need to go to model space and add the holes here. And the same thing will show up in layout automatically. So I've created some circles that I'm going to use here. So I'll go to isolate and object isolation that will bring the circles here. Select one of the circles, right click and select similar. While all the circles are now selected, I'll just go to this one, this view, extrude and extrude it only up to let's say this height. Now I'll go to subtract, select this object, enter and then select all of these circles, enter again and now we have well these holes. Now as you can see we just managed to make these holes very easily. Now if you go to layout, well we have the views updated automatically. So we have got the holes here and here. So everywhere it will show up automatically. Now that's the advantage. If however, you want to do the same thing in AutoCAD LT, well, that's not possible. Let me go to LT now. So here in AutoCAD LT, if I open a 3D drawing, well, it will open only the isometric view, which is this drawing. Now this isometric drawing though looks like it's kind of a 3D drawing, but it's not. If you orbit this drawing well like that, you'll see that it's actually a flat drawing, which is made to look like isometric or 3D view. So in these kind of drawings, you have a really big disadvantage that whatever changes you want to make, you just need to do it manually. And if you have created several views, then you just need to update them one by one. Now that's the only way of making things in 3D in AutoCAD LT. Now the same isometric option is available in AutoCAD as well. You can use it. But this just makes whole process a lot more faster if you try making things actually in 3D. Now there are also other tools like Flatshot which is available in AutoCAD but not in LT. For example here let's say we want to now make some views directly inside the model space. Well for that all you've got to do is just go to the view that you want to create. In this case maybe I'll reset my UCS and then I'll go to this top view here. And now let's say we want to create this view here on the top view. For that, I'll type flat shot and press enter. And there we are, we can now extract the view. So I'll go to create and here we have it. Now, of course, you can add several other settings where you can hide the hidden lines and everything just to make it look clean. But at the end of the day, well, you've got the view. For example, let's say we want view from this side. Again, you can use flat shot here. So flat shot, enter. And here I'll just uncheck this option of obscured line just to make it clean and create and I'll add another view right about here. And that's gonna add it once again on the top plane. So if I now go to the top plane, it will show the front view as well, which is quite clean. Again, this is 2D drawing, but the method of extracting 2D from 3D is very fast in AutoCAD rather than in AutoCAD LT. Now, the second difference is parametric tools. Parametric tools are the tools that you can use to make your drawing really intelligent. Let me give you an example. So here I have, well, this kind of, well, shape here, and we will use parametric tool to add intelligence into this drawing. For that, I'll first switch to my drafting and annotation workspace in AutoCAD. Now here we have this parametric tab. On this tab, we have the dimensional constraint, which is by the way, not available in AutoCAD LT and also some other options like parameters manager. So what I'm gonna start here is with the geometric constraint. So I'll just go to this horizontal. I'll make this one horizontal. There we are. Now I'll go to vertical and I'll make it vertical. Now I'll repeat the process. So maybe I'll now add well, the parallel constraint. So I'll just make this and this parallel and I'll repeat the parallel constraint for this and this. 
Now we have a perfectly vertical set of lines and this one is a rectangle. Now we have circle here at the center. Now if you want to constrain this circle exactly at the center of this rectangle, you can do that using parametric tools. For that I'll go to linear and I'll maybe add the horizontal dimension first and AutoCAD will automatically use well a notation like D1 for this first dimension. If I add the second one, it will assign D2 for that. So I'll select this point and this point and here we have the D2 dimension which is 5.55. Now instead of using this 5.55 the random dimension, I will use a formula here. I just want the width to be exactly half of D1. For that I'll double click here and I'll make D2 half of D1. So D1 by 2. Now that will ensure that this distance, this one remains always half of D1. So if I later change D1 value, it is 12. If I let's say make it 10, the second value will automatically become 5 because of this. And that's how you can build intelligence into your drawing. The same method can be used to kind of restrict the location of this circle exactly at the center. So here I'll just add a constraint and now to just make sure that it remains at the center, this D3 length should be half of D1. So I'll simply add a formula here. So D1 by 2, enter, and we can repeat the process for D2 as well. So I'll go to linear, and from this point to this point, I'll make it D2 by 2, because the D2 is this one, and it should be half of D2. So D4 is D2 by 2, and there we are. Now, if you change this dimension, Essentially, it will change all the other dimensions and also keep this circle exactly centered. So I'll double click here and I'll change D1 value from 10 to let's say 16. And there we are. Everything else changed and the circle still remains exactly at the center. Now this parametric tool is not available in AutoCAD LT, though you can open the parametric drawing and make modifications in these parameters, but you cannot create new one. Now the next feature is data extraction, which is really great. And once again, this feature is exclusively available in AutoCAD, not in AutoCAD LT. Now, using this feature, you can create bill of material and other tables using data from your drawing. Now, here we have this drawing. Let's say we want to extract data from here. For that, I'll simply type the command data extraction and press enter. Now here you can extract the data in the form of a table right inside this drawing or you can also export it as an external Excel file. In this case, I want to create it right inside this drawing. So I'll start with create a new data extraction. If you have a template, you can select it. I'll click on next and specify location where you want to save it. So in this case, I just want to save my data extraction file right inside this. So I'll just call it sample. All right. And it will save it in the DXE format. So click on save and if you want to change some settings, then go to settings and here you can select the objects that you want to include in your extracted list. In this case, I'll keep the defaults checked and click OK and go to next. And it's now extracted the data. Now here you can review everything that we have and let's say we only want to display blocks that contain attribute. In that case, you can just check this one and only block containing attributes will now show up. Well, with that, I'll now click on next and here you can filter your data. So there are a lot of different things currently showing up here, but we don't want any data related to 3D visualization. So we'll just skip it. Geometry, we don't need it. And I think we only need data related to attribute. So maybe I'll just skip everything else from this drawing. Actually, we don't need anything related to text as well. But maybe just for this example, let's keep it. So I've got these three categories that I want to see in my final extracted list. With that, I'll click on next. And the blocks with non-uniform scales are not listed in this. So it's just showing that message. Just click OK and go to the next step. And here is the final table. Now the table is really big. And if you want to just make it smaller, if you want to remove some of these columns, then you can do that as well. For example, author comments and uh, drawing revision number might be important, but author and comments, you can actually right click here and hide these columns. So you can just shrink your list simply by hiding some of these columns that you might not need. And here we are. So we've got all of these things hidden and now we have a much more manageable kind of table, though we do have a lot of rows here. Well, that's totally fine. If you want to see a preview of how your table is going to look like, then here it is. So once you are satisfied with the table, you can click on next and now select the output type. So I'll select the first option where it will just extract it directly inside my drawing, or you can select the second option to extract it as a TXT or Excel file. In this case, the first option is selected. So click on next. You can select a specific style for the table, which you are now creating. 
but I'll leave the default options and click on finish. And here it's going to create the table. It will take some time because, well, the table is really big and the table is now added here, which is quite tiny. So I'll just increase the scale of this table. So I'll go to scale, select it, and maybe I'll just select this base point and I'll make it 50 times larger. So with that, we have the table right about here. Now, of course, you can change the settings of your table later after it's added, but I'll just leave it and there we are. We have got this. So that's something which is not available in AutoCAD LT. Now, the next interesting thing is CAD standards. Now, using CAD standards, you can maintain the standard of your drawing. For example, layers, dimension styles, and all these things. So if you use a specific set of, well, standards for that in your company, and you're working with third party who is using different set of standards, then you can actually ensure that the files imported, well, use the same standards that you follow in your company. Now for that, I've got, let's say this drawing, which is from some external source. And I just want to add all our local standards in this. For that, I have already created a CAD standard file and you can actually create CAD standard file using your any DWG file that has all the specific standards and drawings made with your regular company standards. So I'll go to this manage tab and here I'll select configure. Now in this configure option, simply select the CAD standard file that you've already created. So I'll select add and here's the CAD standard file that I've created. Now that the file is selected, I'll click open and okay, that's it. So the standard file is loaded now using that file as a reference, it will make a check right inside this drawing. So I'll simply click on check and there we are. So we've got some issues here. Well, the first one is related to dimension style. As you can see in the standard dimension style, we've got these values that are different. The current value for overall scale is one, but in the standard file, it is 10. Also, the precisions are different. As you can see, these are all the different precisions. So the precision value is four. In the standard, it should be just two and all these things. Now, if you want to fix it, if you want to replace the current value with the standard values, all you've got to do is just click on fix. Just in case you don't want to fix these specific values, you can select this one, mark this problem ignored. In this case, I want to fix it. So I'll select fix and that's taken care of. Now we are selecting the next one. So here also you can see the color of layer. So we have four of these layers and we have got these two extra layers, which is well, different in the current drawing. So once again, if you want to fix it, simply select fix and that's also done. Now, after fixing this, go to next. And now we have the problems with line types. And as you can see, just as I'm fixing it, it's also changing the drawing here. So now the dimension size is well visible because we have changed the dimension size using the standard file. Also, we had different kind of layers. Now, once we are done with the drawing, you'll see that we'll have a different set of layers. So also this one is different. The line type is different. So well, I'll just fix that. Actually, we have already fixed it. So I'll go to next. And the last one is, I guess, the font Arial is the current value, but standard value is set to Calibri. So yes, we want to fix that too. So select and we are done. So total five problems were found and we just fixed manually two problems. All right, now click on close and close. And here we are, we've got the drawing with the new standards. Actually, if you now go to the layer option, you'll see that we now have NO and construction geometry layer. But if I press Ctrl Z a couple of times, you'll notice that the default layer was something else. So we have NO and sample and also the colors are different. So it just managed to make all these changes using the standard file. Now this feature is not available in AutoCAD LT. Now the next set of features not available in LT is the Express tools. So Express tools are set of tools that will kind of make your workflow faster. For example, if you let's say want to make text along an arc, well, that's here. If you want to explode attributes so that the attributes are not returned to the original attribute value, rather it just retains the text, then well, you can use explode attribute option and there are several other, for example, super hatch, which you can use to create hatches in AutoCAD. So in this case, I'll just show you this arc aligned text. So for that, I'll simply go to arc option and I'll create a simple arc like that. Now let's go to express tool, go to arc aligned text and select an arc, which is this one. And now I'll type the text. So temp sample text aligned along an arc. All right, click OK, and the text is added, just aligned along this arc. Well, the size of text seems to be very tiny, which we can fix. So I'll just double click here to activate this properties. And from the properties, I'll just change the size of text to five unit. Now with that size, 
well the text is slightly visible actually we can just make it larger so maybe i'll just change that to 20 and there we are we've got this thing visible so that's how easy it is to make text which is aligned along an arc and also there are several other express tools which is not available in lt and that you can use if you have autocad now the next thing is AutoCAD toolset. Now, if you are purchasing AutoCAD subscription, then you will basically get entire AutoCAD tool sets of mechanical, electrical, AutoCAD architecture, and all of these other CAD packages are kind of like bundled into one single subscription. So the advantage here is actually there are several, but the biggest one is the large library of blocks. So if you work with electrical drawing then you will get lots and lots of electrical blocks with AutoCAD electrical the same is true with AutoCAD mechanical so these are some of the biggest features now which one should you go for well now based on these feature sets you can decide for yourself if you need these extra features or not if you don't then AutoCAD LT is the best option for you it's a low cost option lightweight as well and you can just go with it if you don't want all these bells and whistles but if your work requires all these tools then definitely you need to go with AutoCAD it's quite simple this cyber week Autodesk is offering a huge discount of up to 30% on AutoCAD AutoCAD LT Revit LT suite Fusion 360, 3ds Max, and Maya for one year or three year subscription. This offer is valid only till 1st of December. So if you haven't yet subscribed to Autodesk, now is the time to get it before it expires forever. To buy online with the discounted pricing, simply click the links in the description of this video or just click the link in the first pinned comment.